Hi, I'm Marcel Johnson. Tonight on Inside Louisiana Athletic, Raging Cajun student athletes and staff give back to the community with its Adopt a Family program. Senior running back Ashton Johnson closes out his undergraduate career with a bang by earning Student Athlete of the Month. And later, we introduce you to junior tennis player Florian Pico. And the Raging Cajuns are back in the community singing for a cause. But first, Dan McDonald and Luana Stokes recap the season so far for women's basketball. You're watching Inside Louisiana Athletics. Thanks, Marcel. I'm Dan McDonald along with Luana Stokes here at the Cajun Dome. And it has been a solid season for Louisiana's Raging Cajun women's basketball team to this point. Six and three on the year, even though they're coming off a tough loss to a 15th ranked Mississippi State team, 64 248. But Luana, this is the first loss here at home for Louisiana. They have played very well here in the Cajun Dome all year long. Yes, Louisiana, they have played extremely well, Dan. Um, they have controlled the boards. They have control the paint but uh, today was just a slight change and what they have done in the past however that doesn't take anything away from Louisiana they're still a fine basketball club they work hard they play well together as a team uh, and I mean through the stretch they've, they've done some great things this team is six and three now after winning only seven games all of last season and of course they have not even gotten into Sunbelt Conference play we'll talk about that a little bit more in just a minute but Louisiana has already posted wins over Loyola McNeese southeastern Louisiana New Orleans Lamar and Xavier a lot of those coming here on the home floor their only losses they had a tough four-point loss at Sam Houston State in the second game of the season they had a tough three-point loss at North Texas and that just came late last week so this is a Cajun team that's played very very well for the most part but they're going to fix they're about to hit a really tough part of the season they'll be traveling to play Ole Miss in their next game and that will be on Friday December 20th and after going to play Jackson State between Christmas and New Year's they will open Sunbelt Conference play and they'll open it up on the Georgia swing against Georgia State Georgia Southern so this Cajun team Luana will get a chance to really see what it's made of the Mississippi State game pretty good test for them but they're gonna have some more tests coming up very soon and although this was definitely a test for them today um, they didn't come out with an A plus but I guarantee you Dan they played very well and, and, and they made a difference today and I think this game today gonna be the highlight of what they're gonna see in the conference play of what they can do what they can't do but one thing I did see today Dan as they go forward in the season that they can play as a team Cajuns fall to Mississippi State, 64 to 48. In the ball game, a little bit of a surprise, Kimberly Burton today, the leading scorer against the Bulldogs. She has eight points, all of them coming in the second half. But for most of the season, it's been the one-two punch that we expected. Brandy Williams outside, Ty Doucette inside. Williams averaging 16 points a ball game, Doucette averaging 13 points and also seven and a half rebounds. We expected both of them to do very well after their season last year, and they've really picked up where they left off. And they have, they have worked together as a team. Team. They have actually sized each other up. They know how to play with each other. They know what to do, what not to do, how to pass the ball. And that speaks volume for a team that's young. Again, Louisiana is still a young team. They're still growing. They're still learning. But uh, today and, and what they've done in the past uh, has demonstrated what a real team looks like. Let's talk about the team. It's been team defense that has been one of the hallmarks for this team. And, of course, Cajun coach Gary Broadhead is a defensive He's a defensive-minded guy, and his team has done that. They are averaging almost 20 turnovers a game they're forcing from their opponents and only committing 14. So that means you're getting six extra possessions every game, and that is really big for a team that really values the basketball. They try to do something with it every trip down. And right, and defense has definitely cracked the plan for Louisiana. Uh, we do know that defense win games, and without defense, then you can't win. So Louisiana, they have definitely played awesome defense on the stretch. They have stopped some great plays. They have stopped some great uh, 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 defensive plays, offensive plays on the court. And, uh, I mean, they're, they're just shining when it comes to defense. So I, I applaud uh, Coach Broadhead with his defense side of, of the team for Louisiana. Andrea Kenoria and Skyra Goodwin both averaging just about eight points a game and averaging 
helping out with the scoring on the perimeter. Jasmine Thomas hasn't been scoring a lot, but she has added a really a solidifying aid to this team. She's been the one running the point, playing about 20 minutes a game, coming back from being hurt all last year. And she has been sort of the glue that sort of held everything together. I like the way you said that, Dan. Definitely the glue. She has really tapped into her strength. She has tapped into her ability to make things happen on the court. Uh, she, she has come out and she, and she has shined. And you can, you, you can even hear her talking to the players on the court. Cajun 6-3 on the year. They will travel to Ole Miss on Friday to take on the Rebels. That's a 7 o'clock game. They will also be on the road in Mississippi taking on Jackson State on December 29th. They'll open up Sunbelt Conference play at Georgia State on January 2nd and at Georgia Southern on the 4th before they come back to the Cajun Dome finally January the 9th. It'll be South Alabama, a 6 o'clock game right here at the Dome when Sunbelt Conference home play opens. For Luana Stokes, I'm Dan McDonald from the Cajun. Next on Inside Louisiana Athletics, Raging Cajun student athletes and staff give back to the community with its Adopt a Family program. If you're happy and you know it's Zydeco, if you're happy and you know it's Zydeco, if you're happy and you know it, then your feet will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, Zydeco. If you're happy and you know it, Monge. If you're happy and you know it, Monge. If you're happy and you know it, nothing ever will help you show it. If you're happy and you know it, Monge. Family Fundraiser is an initiative that our Student Athlete Advisory Committee has been doing for the past several years. Um, our student athletes take the time out of their busy schedules to fundraise for a family in need, um, as well as go shopping for the gifts, wrap the gifts, and then we're lucky enough to be able to deliver them to the family that um, has been chosen for us. We pick a family that's less fortunate or who may need a little extra help this Christmas, and we go shopping at Target every year. Each, we split up into groups and each group takes a kid or a mom or a dad and we pick out their gifts and then the next day we all meet up on campus and we wrap the gifts together, we listen to Christmas music, we have a good time, we wrap the gifts and whenever the family is um, available, we go to their house, we drop off their gifts, we visit with them, we just show them a little more Christmas spirit. Our student athletes take great pride uh, in this program. They work very diligently, volunteering their time in collecting monies uh, to go and buy gifts for a family uh, based on the needs of that family. Uh, we just got back from Target uh, doing the shopping and now we're here at the house with our uh, final uh, holiday sack meeting of the year uh, where we're having dinner. And uh, again, I just can't thank enough these student athletes and the time and commitment that they've put in to making sure that this program is a success. We're so grateful tonight to have the opportunity to break bread with so many of our student leaders as a part of our SAC organization, as well as our senior leadership team here at Dr. Brian Maggard and Carrie Maggard's house. Uh, it's been a wonderful evening and uh, more importantly than our camaraderie here tonight and a chance to catch up, uh, something that we wish we could do more often within college athletics. 
particularly here at UL, uh, because a lot of us move in so many different directions. Uh, but most importantly, what happened tonight was our student athletes and staff came together to support our adoptive family mission for uh, Christmas this holiday season. I'm a part of SAC, which is the Student Athletic Advisory Committee, and it's like a big group of people. We are the leaders of our sports teams, we come together and we figure out how we can make our athletic, athletic programs better. It was just so phenomenal that we got to do this for these kids and this family because we get so much as an athletic department already and it was good to give back to the community. The Student Athlete Advisory Committee has been giving back to the community for many years and the adopt a family program has definitely been one of our favorites. Uh, this project and this initiative has continued to grow each and every year. It started off with just helping uh, a family to the best of our ability, um, raising maybe a thousand dollars and then uh, over the years our community has been so generous and donated so much and um, this year was really unique because our entire staff got behind this project and really helped the student athletes. One thing that's very special about this is that it's a true reflection of the character of our student athletes and that they're truly servant leaders here in our community. Uh, they give back, uh, they invest into this community because they're so grateful of the experience that the community invests back in them and their student athlete experience here at UL. So these are a lot of fun things that we do as a part of our experience here at the University of Louisiana and we're really excited about the opportunity to really make a dream come true for a family less fortunate and the ability for us to continue to outreach in this community is certainly something that we've made a priority as a part of this leadership team and many of our student athletes take great pride in that. It's really important for our student athletes because they get the opportunity to give back to a community that gives so much to us and to be able to give something to a family who you know may be um, going through some hard times this Christmas and so uh, we feel very lucky to be able to bless this family. Giving back to the community is such a big thing in athletics because a lot of kids look up to us and think of, of as us as role models and it's important for us to reach out to them and be an inspiration to them and show them the way and show, tell them that school work is the key and hard work and the sport is just a tool for them in life. Being here, this is probably one of my favorite events that we do as a SAC, one of our favorite volunteer events. I look forward to it every year. Not only is it good for the student athletes to get involved in something a little bit bigger than them, but we get to hang out with one another. We get to see what it's like when maybe we're a little ungrateful for what we have, and we just get to see that we're all blessed, and this is something good that we can come together and enjoy. Happy holidays to all. We appreciate you and your support, and please join us in continuing to make someone's day a little bit brighter uh, as we look forward to this holiday season. Coming up next, senior running back Ashton Johnson closes out his undergraduate career with a bang by earning Student Athlete of the Month. I've got a feeling things are turning up for me now. If you're happy and you know it's Zydeco, if you're happy and you know it's Zydeco, if you're happy and you know it, then your feet will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it's Zydeco, if you're happy and you know it's Monge, if you're happy and you know it's Monge, if you're happy and you know it, nothing that will help you show it. If you're happy and you know it's Monge, Monge, Perform. 
You need speed, skill, strength. With every muscle, every move, you push your body to reach its full potential. But sometimes, you just can't push through the pain. That's when you know it's time to address it. So when injury puts you on the sidelines, trust us to get you back in the game. Lord Sports Care, the team behind your team. Hi, my name is Ashton Johnson. I'm a senior running back for your UL Raising Cages. I got started with football when I was seven years old. I played down in the Breck League in Baton Rouge. Uh, my first team that I played for was called the Baton Rouge Ravens, and I took off from there. I knew that I was pretty good when I had a play where I was the I was at Wildcat, and so I, you knew I was running the ball, and I ran through at least 10 of their defenders, and you know it's 11 defenders at a time on the field. <laughs> yeah, that's when I knew I was pretty good. At high school, I was sort of the same kind of player that I am here, to be honest. I played, I started out playing offensive line as a freshman, and my senior year, I, I ended up playing linebacker and running back. So, and I only had, I want to say like five or six touchdowns at running back, because we, we, we bought in another running back that actually started over me and I started on defense. But I was always a dual threat and if I was on the field I was going to make an impact. I was the man when it came to the grades. I, and I, I never really had to try too hard but I guess it came naturally. I actually got student of the month for the month of March when I was in high school and my birthday is March 20th so that was a blessing. But my big cousin, shout out Morgan, she was a, a real huge influence on me coming here. She, she went here and she was the first person that introduced me to the school. I actually hadn't heard about the school until my junior season, but once I did come here and I learned about the culture, I was bought in. Winning Student Athlete of the Month as I'm about to graduate, it's truly a blessing. It's, I think God's raining on me right now. He's showing me that everything you've done is it's paying off. And I wanna say that I wanna say thank you to my parents. They always push me that being a student was first. That's why you say student athlete. And uh, it's a blessing, man. Go Cajuns. Coming up next on Inside Louisiana Athletics, we introduce you to junior tennis player Florian Pico. And the Raging Cajuns are back in the community singing for a cause. <laughs> Louisiana's Billy Napier has been named the 2019 Sunbelt Football Coach of the Year after leading the Raging Cajuns to a 10-2 overall record, going 7-1 in conference play, and coaching Louisiana to the Sunbelt Football Championship game for the second year in a row. Napier and the Raging Cajuns eclipsed the double-digit win mark for the first time in school history, while also setting the school record for the program's most Sunbelt wins with seven. Louisiana finished the regular season ranked first in the Sun Belt in total offense, rushing offense, and scoring defense. In those same categories, nationally at the end of the regular season, Louisiana is eighth in total offense, sixth in rushing offense, twelfth in scoring offense, and tied for eleventh in scoring defense. After two seasons as Louisiana's head coach, Napier boasts a 17 and 9 record. Hey Cajun Nation, I'm Josh Bruner. Louisiana football has had an outstanding 2019 season, recording 10 wins for the first time in program history. The Sunbelt West Division champions were dominant at home as well, outscoring opponents 466 to 214 and scoring 31 touchdowns. 
Louisiana Athletics has taken pride in creating an electric atmosphere for fans in attendance, including game day experiences such as fan-friendly concessions, pre-game concerts, and the Russo Park Fan Fest. With just one game left to play on the schedule for this season, it is time to get ready to go for an exciting 20-20 campaign, which features home games against McNeese State, Wyoming, Arkansas State, South Alabama, Coastal Carolina, and Georgia Southern. Beginning today, Tuesday, December 10th, fans can renew and purchase discounted general admission season tickets for just $60, down from $110 a season ago. At just $10 per ticket for next year's home games, this deal is a perfect gift for any Ragin' Cajun fan. There is also a three-month payment plan option available for just $20 per month. Be sure to act quickly, as the price for these general admission season tickets will go back up to $110 after March 1st. Everyone at Louisiana Athletics thanks you for your support this season, and we can't wait to see you back at Cajun Field in 2020. Go Cajuns! Hi, my name is Florian Pico. I'm a junior for the Waging Cajun women's tennis team. My earliest memory of me and tennis together was, I would say, when I first started to play tennis with my father. He had always been a model for me, so to be on the court and share with him what becomes my passion a few years later, I think that was the most enjoyable memory that I had with him. I became a Waging Cajun because I really liked the culture influence of Louisiana. The French influence helped me to decide to come here, to be here and far away from my hometown where I lived for almost 18 years. It was a tough decision for me to choose to leave uh, everything that I had there to be far away from my family. So to know that the French influence was here helped me to decide to come here rather than to go somewhere else. One of the biggest differences between my hometown and here is tennis. Over there I was playing an individual sport, which I really liked it for many years. I think I needed these changes and to play a totally different sport because I'm playing side by side with my teammates all the time. We are practicing together, so to not be by yourself, it's so much better and I really like it because when you're by yourself, it's hard, it's hard to push yourself. You don't really know for who you're doing it, but it's so much better to know that your teammates are here, that you can rely on them and to play as a team, to compete as a team out there with our fans who are coming supporting us. It's something very special. Students should become a Waging Cajun because it's something that is going to stay in your life forever. We have a great, a great coaching staff. We have all the resources that we need to succeed in life, not, yet, not only in tennis or in our major, but I think they are teaching us some lessons for our future life. Hi, I'm Hollis Conway, Assistant Director of Athletics for Diversity and Leadership here at the University of Louisiana Raging Cajuns. I'm so excited about the culture that we have created around here. Most people know us for our tenacity and our grit and our excellence on the athletic field, but we are so much more than that uh, in the classroom and in the community. And this time of the year has been so special because so many people are so excited about Christmas and the joy and, the, and the, just the gifts and the celebration. But we recognize here at the Athletic Department that there are many parts of our community that don't get to uh, experience that joy um, and, and the holiday spirit because many of our people are in the hospitals or maybe they're in a nursing home and they're, they're, they're struggling because of loss. And, and because of the culture that we have here, not only in our fields that we, and the sports that we participate in, we want to give back. We want to make a difference. And, and our athletic department, from our leader, uh, Dr. Brian Maggard, all the way down through the staff and, and through our coaches and through our athletes, have made a tremendous effort to be a part of bringing uh, 
uh, not only athletic success, but just the same joy and excitement to the lives of those who may be hurting this season. We've been able to do some incredible things. We, we adopt a family and, and, and who may be struggling because of whatever the issue may be. And, and our athletes, they get out and they, they raise money. Our, our community supports that initiative. And, and we go out and we get their wish list and we, we shop and we buy them everything, that, not only what they need, but some things that they want. Um, our athletes come together and they, they wrap all of those gifts. And then we go and we present it to them. We, we bring Christmas to a family that maybe, uh, maybe would not have that, that Christmas spirit. And to even go above that, our staff, our, our athletic directors, our administration, we're gonna go out and we're gonna visit a, a nursing home. And we're gonna sing in all of our horribleness and all of our poor singing voices, but we're gonna bring love, joy, and cheer to those who will be in the nursing home during this holiday season. We're gonna, we're gonna present shirts and we're, gonna, we're just gonna bring a little bit of joy and it's gonna be a tremendous time just spreading that love and joy because that's what we do. That's the culture that we have here. That is the Raging Cajuns way. Hey y'all, get your softball season tickets today. Head coach Jerry Glasgow and his crew are back after a 52 and six season last year. We have our season opener February 7th versus Ball State and exciting games all year round, including the one versus LSU right here in Lamson Park on February 15th. You don't want to miss this, so get your season tickets today at RagingCajuns.com slash SBTix. We can't wait to see you there. Go Cajuns! The residence halls are very new, very clean, very nice. A lot of people get suite style rooms, which are two person to one room and some nice perks to the residence halls are free laundry and they even have an app so it'll tell you when your laundry is ready so that's sweet. They have weekly housekeeping so you don't have to worry about your bathroom. There's such a variety of food options on and off campus. You can get anything from Chick-fil-A and Pizza Hut to crawfish etouffee and jambalaya. The meal plan is actually included in your room so you're never going hungry when you live on campus. When there's something going on on campus you never have to worry about how you're going to get there because you're literally steps away, you can just walk. If I pull a late night studying or writing a paper, I can take those few extra minutes to sleep in because my class is 10 minutes away. Well, we have an amazing opportunity for our first year students where they can live in the residence halls and be a part of a living learning community. So these are small communities where students can make friends very quickly with other students that they have a lot in common with. For example, students who like the arts, they can live in Gateway to the Arts and then they take classes together. Building relationships has been just as easy as inviting people to go out to eat in the dining hall or inviting someone to study together in the library or the community room. If you're happy and you know it's Zydeco If you're happy and you know it's Zydeco If you're happy and you know it then your feet will surely show it If you're happy and you know it's Zydeco Thank you for watching the final episode of Inside Louisiana Athletics for 2019. We'll see you January 15th at 6 p.m. Central Time. Happy Holidays.